What's up guys, Luna with Max Hess here, another reaction video. Finley Wilson requested me to watch Michael Bisping's funniest moments. So I'm gonna do that. I actually haven't I don't I, I haven't paid like great attention to Michael Bisping. He's not one of my favorite fighters, but he is entertaining in the same things he says and does, because it's almost like, whoa, dude, why'd you do that? Like when he ripped up the Cuban flag and stuff like that. Even though he's not going to fight Yo Romero, there's no way he's going to fight him. He's scared of him, I believe. But whatever, man. If you want to get your video or name put on the board, subscribe to my channel. In the comments down below, let me know what video you want me to react to or watch or give my opinion on. I'll put your name on the board, and then I'll put the description, and I'll react to it. Let's get this started. What's crazy is he said he's going to knock him out, but he really did. No, no, Viagra. No, no. Hey, does he work? I'll read it. Yes. I don't care about smashing this dickhead's head. It's my night. That's going to happen. I think Anderson Silva knew what he was saying to him. into Hector Lombard for the first time yesterday in the elevator and I thought somebody was playing a practical joke. I was like, who is this little poison dwarf? You know, he's about, he's about, he's about this big. I'm like, come on, seriously? Seriously, this guy? This is, this is the guy with all the hype? <laughs> By the way, Jorge, this is what you do. I know it's your first time involved in something like this. Welcome to the big leagues. Um, after this, you'll be back to the undercard, believe me. Uh, I think he's in the wrong weight class. There's a 125 weight class. I think he should be in that. Dang, what's he talking about? He's still talking about Hector Lombard. He obviously wasn't getting enough sleep when he was a kid because oh, his mum was smoking or something because his, his growth has been majorly stunted. <laughs> I guess Hector um, called him out. I'm a fan of Chelsea Sonnen, but unfortunately, just lately, he's starting to look like a court jester as opposed to a fighter. And Saturday night, I'm going to make him look like the fool that he's become. We'll see how he does tomorrow night. I'm sure he'll do fine. Um, as long as somebody gives him a hand to get into the cage, maybe give him a little, a little step up to get in, he'll, he'll be all right, you know? Uh, maybe he can stand on someone's shoulders. Um, we've settled our differences. He's apologised. He's turned down a fight with my son. Um, what? And um, we're good now. We're good. He's okay. He knows his place. He's one of the little guys. I'm one of the big guys. <laughs> I mean, Martin yeah, Munoz came like, bouncing into that I fight like right for the about. MC contest. Uh, he looked fat and overweight. He looked like Alan Belcher's tattoo artist had switched careers and done a bloody thing on the back of his head. <laughs> Assuming that Chael wins this fight Saturday, and to be fair, that's an accurate assumption. Um, how? Sorry, Bisping. I'm just a big Chael fan. Uh, yeah, you love know that one. Thank you. Uh, all right. Um, now can we have a question from a real journalist? God, that was a boring fight. Rashad Evans versus uh, what's his Phil Davis. Here we go. Oh, I, I saw him yesterday, fight. and uh, he's got a very forgettable face. So he had to introduce himself again. I'm not sure. I mean, guys that don't reach my waistline don't really resonate with me too much, you know, I kind of think of them as children. God and um, he said, hey, what's up, Mike? I'm like, whoa, who is this guy? Look at him looking down. Oh, look yeah, at him looking right, down. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> well, for those of you that can't see, this is the world championship title of which I took from Anderson Silva. And if he wants it back, he knows where to find me. Yeah, I think you can get them on eBay for about 29 dollars <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was just checking. This man is a cheat. This man is a fraud. And I will make you pay for your mistakes tomorrow night, my friend. All the needles in your ass, all the steroids will not help you. You puss it. <laughs> Anderson Silva still has no clue what Michael Bisping's saying. Don't spill on someone. Brian Parsons just starts giving me you know, and I'm like, what do you want? Go away. You know, and he's like, no, what are you going to do? Spin in my face? I said, no, I'm going to knock you out. Off. Ben substance, substances, um, uh, Van Lay Silva. Yes, he's a moron. He's an absolute moron. <laughs> you oh, sorry, I thought we were playing word association. Again. <laughs> <laughs> you again. Good. Okay, Van Lay Silva. I'm use that one. Sorry, I thought we were playing word again. Van Lay Silva. Can soak my. <laughs> 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 he's an idiot. <laughs> 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 
They say like you if someone scares you and you fight react fight. like that, you like you shake or whatever, it means your reflexes are sharp. Like no lie. So next time somebody scares you and you're like, ah, that means you got really good reflexes. What is this? Is that, Mike, I talked so much shit to you on Twitter and you never blocked me, and now I'm a fan. You can kiss my ass. <laughs> That was pretty funny. Michael Bisping, he's quick-witted. He's very quick-witted. I don't think he's as funny. Like, Chell Sonnen was funny in, like, a WWE way. Conor McGregor's funny as in, like, he's quick-witted, but he also, it's almost like a comedian writes his stuff. Bisping, he's funny. He's, I don't think he's the funniest, but, like, he's really quick-witted. I guarantee you if you got into, like, a put-down battle with him, he would destroy you. I don't, I, like, I don't know if he's... He, I think it's crazy that he's he's holding the title right now. I think that's crazy. The, the middleweight division exploded after Anderson got knocked off the throne. It's crazy that Michael Michael Bisping is a good fighter. It's crazy that he's holding the belt though in such a stacked division. His knockout of Luke Rockhold was pretty crazy. I would like to see a rematch because their trash talk was awesome. But uh, Finley Wilson, man, I appreciate you requesting the video. That was a really good video, pretty funny. If you want to get your video up here on the board, if you want to get your name on the board, get a shout out. Subscribe to my channel, comment down below, let me know what video you want me to react to. I'll put your name on the board and I'll react to it. Appreciate y'all watching, man. Check me out on SoundCloud, Instagram, and Twitter. I got to get it back to a wrap. SoundCloud, Instagram, Twitter. I ain't no quitter. I'm just kidding. Uh, but also check me out in the streets.